Good evening everyone, I'm your host Madhusudan Raj with my economic reports. Uh, in today's edition what we want to discuss is we want to discuss this uh, US Central Bank Federal Reserve's uh, quantitative easing tapering which they have started in December and continuing with it in January and its effect on the emerging market economies, uh, especially the Indian stock market and the Indian economy. Uh, what is happening is basically we all know that since the beginning of the financial crisis in 2007 the US Central Bank, uh, the Federal Reserve is uh, buying the government bonds and uh, mortgage uh, MBS, the uh, mortgage-backed security, the toxic debt uh, they are buying all these bonds under the you know, program called quantitative easing. This quantitative easing is nothing but uh, dollar printing program and this uh, dollar, uh, newly freshly printed dollars have entered into the world economy and lifted many stock markets like what we call the asset bubble. Uh, so what's happening is basically when they, when they have decided to taper uh, that uh, the dollars which they you know which have flown into the international market that dollar flow is going to stop and because of that what is going to happen is this emerging market economies are going to get into trouble so we want to talk about that but as I said that they have started this program and uh, because dollar is an international reserve currency right now it is an international uh, medium of payment so that's why uh, all this big financial institutional investors are you know coming with a lot of dollars and they're investing into all these emerging market economies and as I said that has created this asset bubble into the uh, emerging market economy stock markets for example like India for example or Brazil or South Africa or even China for example now what hap what is going to happen now when they have decided to taper now why the US Central Bank has decided to taper is because they think that the uh, U.S. economy is now recovering slowly and it's becoming healthy. What they call there are there are green shoots, uh, but that is all you know uh, basically a lie. There are no green shoots, and the American economy is not improving. It is actually deteriorating. Uh, the crisis which started in 2007 is right now actually uh, prolonging and deepening, uh, simply because of this uh, money printing program of the Central Bank of America, the U.S. Federal Reserve Bank. But you know, uh, not discussing that issue right now. They have decided that they are going to uh, slow down the pace of buying government bonds and these mortgage-backed securities. Now, what impact that is going to have on the world stock market, especially India? The impact, you know, we are already seeing that the Indian market has started to, you know, crash again. It reached something like 21,000 level, but it has crashed by something like 1,000 points in you know last week or so itself. Why that is happening? Because uh, when the Central Bank of America, U.S. Federal Reserve was printing a lot of dollars, that, lo that dollar was going into this big financial institutional investors' hand, mutual funds and pension funds, etc. And they are looking for highest return for their, you know, for their dollar. And because in the Western world, central banks have kept their interest rate very low. In fact, it's almost zero right now. For example, in America, it's something like 0.25%. So for them, the only available option was to take the dollar and put that dollar into the emerging economies where they were at least able to, you know, earn some, you know, returns, you know, higher than what they are earning in the uh, Western world stock market. So that money they took and, you know, brought it into the Indian stock market and they started buying all the stocks and, you know, shares, etc. in India. But the problem here is that all this hot money is, you know, the way they enter it can, you know, exit also very quickly. So that's what is happening right now because the U.S. Federal Reserve Bank has started to taper. They've slowed down the, you know, bond purchasing program. So that's why many people are thinking that the interest rates are going to go up in the American economy because American economy is improving. So now all these investors are pulling out their money from the Indian stock market and piling it back into the Western stock markets. So because of that, as I said, the Indian stock market is right now crashing. Not only the Indian stock market, but most of the emerging world economies are struggling right now. And uh, this is what is happening on one side and on the other side. Uh, because, you know, the Indian Central Bank, RBI's governor, he also knows that this, you know, U.S. Federal Reserve Bank's tapering program will have some kind of impact on the Indian stock market also. So that's why they have also started to increase the market interest rate over here because 
we all know that inflation rate is very high in India itself and Rajan is giving lip service to fighting you know in inflation although on one side he's creating the same inflation monster and on the other side he's saying that he wants to kind of uh, call that monster but he is you know he's worried about inflation so what he's doing right now is actually he has also increased the interest rate into his last monetary policy announcement and he saying that India is very India is not that vulnerable India is safe uh, if the US central bank starts to taper its ban you know bond buying program but you know as I'm saying since long that India is of course not safe if all the institutional investors are pulling out their money from the Indian stock market then we are going to see a big crash over here not only that uh, to combat this thing because the rupee will start to depreciate because if the dollar supply goes down then you know in compared to you know vis a vis rupees you know demand and supply then rupee will further weaken depreciate and to combat this rupee depreciation Rajan has started to and also to fight the inflation Raghurav Rajan has started to increase the interest rate and as I said in Indian stock market all this money which government has, means the RBI has printed and all the money which is coming pouring from outside the US central bank dollar printing that is entering into the Indian economy that has distorted the Indian production structure and the Indian capital structure there is a lot of misallocation of resources in India itself so for example in India itself we have a huge real estate bubble and the huge auto sector bubble right now building up so if the market interest rate starts to go up because of this fat tapering and inflation is going out of hand then there's two bubbles these big bubbles in one in real estate sector and one in the auto sector will bust ultimately and actually we are you know waiting for that only when the real interest rate will start to move up when the real interest rate will start to go into the positive territory or with, right now it is very much zero then then that will break you know the back of this bubble and and then the real bust will start in the indian economy the growth has already disrelated the nominal figures are already below 5% but that can further worsen if the market interest rate suddenly jumps up and that really can happen you know see what happened in you know, the last couple of weeks time in for example turkey uh, because the turkish lira was depreciating very rapidly so that's why to combat that depreciating uh, lira the turkish central bank increased their interest rate from 8% to something like 12% straight away something like 5% jumped directly now just imagine if the rbi is increasing its rate from 9% to something like 14 or 15% that will you know bust this uh, huge bubble which is building up right now in the real in india's real estate sector and the auto sector and then the real recession will start in india and then the real correction will start uh, remember this recession is very much required this correction is very much required but the problem is that there will be a lot of pain because all this misallocation of resources will have to be liquidated by this recession time and that time period will be very very painful and I'm sure not many people will be able to withstand the pain at that time but we need that pain right now if you want to avoid complete crash in the end but as I said this uh, you know, tapering of uh, tapering program quantitative easing tapering prog program in America will have big impact on the Indian economy also most probably as I said it is going to result into a big bust big recession starting in India and then what will happen because American economy is also in problems so you know they will stop buying for a while and immediately when they will see that their own policies are resulting into a crash they will again start printing money so that will again create more further inflation so ultimately it looks like that we are going to have a hyperinflationary depression kind of scenario that looks like the end result but right now we have to uh, continue to watch what the US Central Bank Federal Reserve is doing with its quantitative easy program for but they have a new head now the chairman is now Janet Yellen a lady a lady economist and uh, she is a doubt so maybe she will continue to print but as I said uh, if they decide to stop their printing program for a while also then that will have a big impact on the emerging market including India so right now we have to be very cautious the stock markets are very vulnerable right now and as I said see my advice always is to stay away from all these kind of paper promises at least for now when the situation is very very dangerous right the real returns are nowhere to be found right now what is required is uh, not any kind of returns you know you're not going to get any kind of highest returns right now although they are there in for example gold mining stocks 
but it's pretty risky for most of the people. So returns are not available. What is right now requires we have to kind of you know uh, preserve whatever wealth we already are owning, and for that we have to continue to buy precious metals, gold and silver and farmland, etc. So we have to be very cautious because you know I think that when the Fed will really start to taper, all these stock markets are going to really crash and uh, a bigger recession will start, you know, compared to what happened in 2007. So I am just, you know, advising all of you to be very cautious and keep an eye on what's happening. Right now, Rajan is saying, the RBI governor is saying that India is pretty safe, but I am saying India is definitely not very safe because we are going to be affected by the U.S. Federal Reserve's, you know, uh, quantitative easing policy also. So you guys, you know, take care of yourself out there. I'm keeping an eye on what's happening right now. And I'll continue to update you guys on on this front. If, if something bad is going to happen, you will know by now because I'm already warning all of you that the situation is very precarious. Whatever growth or development these people are talking about, it's all artificial, created by money printing. Actually, they are eating into our saving and they're destroying our capital stock so they are making us poor our future is going to be poor we'll have to work hard in future right because they have destroyed government and the central banks have destroyed our capital stock our savings etc so be very cautious and you know i'll continue to update you as i said right now i'm just you know taking your leave and thank you very much for watching me good night